Hello, lovely friends. So lately I've been doing a lot of crochet. And I have so many projects that are like half finished, almost finished. This needs fringe. I have some granny squares I made that I never did anything with. So I'm gonna crochet for 24 hours, see how many of these I can complete, maybe start some new projects. But since I adore my sleep, I'm not going to do 24 hours straight. I'm gonna do 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow. And then I'll show you all the lovely finished projects. All right, let's go get to stitching. Thank you so much for joining me this video. If you don't know who I am, I'm Dana. I crochet and travel and I'm a singer songwriter who's scooting around in my little she shed on wheels. I hope you'll join me if you want to subscribe and turn on the bell. And if you're more interested in the crochet content, join me over on Crochet Nomadic. Is that a good name? Boho Crochet Nomadic. The Crochet Nomad. The Crochet Nomad, that's kind of cute. Anyway, whatever it's called, it's gonna be linked down below. So go find it, subscribe, and let's start doing tutorials and stuff over there. Okay, let's get started. Good morning, lovely humans. It's the next day. I am starting my 24 hour crochet ordeal. I am starting with this blanket because I know the hook size. I know the pattern really well and just kind of easing into it. This is a baby blanket I started forever ago and I just need to finish the last few rows. It's like an aquamarine color, lots of pretty turquoises, and I need to add tassels on the ends. A while back, I made this blanket for a set of quintuplets. They each had their own color, and I thought it was fun just to add three different shades of their favorite color into one blanket, add in some whites and neutrals. It's really easy to make. It's a basic granny square stitch. It looks like it's straight out of the 70s, which I love, but I tried to give it a modern twist. I made it in blue, a light baby pink, purple and violet, golden yellow, a green, and a really bright orange. Here's another one I made. I totally forgot about it. I'm calling it Cherry Berry and Cream. I was also inspired by the Barbie movie. Made a hot pink one. Still need to finish it, but it's cute. And today I'm finishing the turquoise one. And I think I shall call this color Salty Seas and Sandy Cracks. A lot of my other projects, I don't remember what hook size I used. It's gonna be a lot of guesswork. Just gonna coffee and chill this morning. It's quite gorgeous out. The other day I saw a bear right up in the trees. So I think I'm gonna sit in the chair closest to the door. I might go up on my dad's RV because at least it'll take them 10 seconds to get to me rather than the normal three. It is such a beautiful morning. This this is all I want to do all day. I'm going through a breakup right now and then all I want to do is eat horrible food and nap, but crochet is a close second. It's very therapeutic. It's nice to just kind of sit and do a repetitive motion. It's somewhat meditative and relaxing. So can't say no to a little early morning vitamin D and by early morning, it's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna go from nine o'clock to nine o'clock today and see how much we can get done. Of course, I will need food breaks, etc. but I'm not trying to be a crochet hero. I just genuinely have a lot of projects to finish and also have a video to film. So when those two worlds collide, you make me nervous I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like Okay, so I can't stop thinking about whether the bear is gonna come eat me or not, and it's not that relaxing. Obviously, I know the odds of that are slim to none, but just the fact that I keep thinking about it, I'm gonna go on my dad's RV and finish this project. But first, I must make more coffee. And this is the part where I run down to grab my camera. My assistant Sven is partying in the Maldives and he just hasn't showed up to work in about six months. I guess I'll do this damn filming myself. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I feel much safer up here. If a bear comes to eat me, I can like run across the rooftop and hop into some trees. Totally safe up here. Oh, I'll get some vitamin D. I have a coffee, yes. I should bring my computer up here and watch a Netflix series, but right now I'm just gonna be at one with nature and crochet my little tootsies off. I 
I almost forgot how relaxing it is making these blankets. They're super duper easy. If you guys want a tutorial, let me know. I think I will do a tutorial for this one. I've gotten a lot of questions on it. So let me know. It's super relaxing, super beginner friendly. You can do solid colors. You can do rainbow. You can do like more neutral colors, whatever you want, but love this blanket. finished the blue color I need to go find the rest of the colors because I need to make one more row of this taupey color I also need to put on tassels so I need to find all I think there's five colors white taupe turquoise turquoise and turquoise there's like three different shades of turquoise I also need to shower and get ready for the day I have no idea where those colors are I did this blanket maybe five months ago four months ago they're somewhere in my yarn factory upstairs let's go check it out I know this is the gray. Where are the blues? I think this one is the turquoise I used. Or was it that one? I think it was this one. Man, I don't remember what the last color was. Maybe it's in one of these bags. I think it might be. I thought I put all the baby blanket colors in here. Maybe not. I do know I need some white. That I do know. Maybe it was this one doubled up. I think that's what it was. Fingers crossed. I think this is right. Do those match? Yes. Yes. Yes, and yes, I found the matches, but bad news. I forgot I was gonna make this blanket extra big. So instead of having two more rows to finish, actually five rows to finish. So gonna be working on this the rest of the morning and I'll show it to you once it's complete. Okay, so that took way longer than expected. I finished one, two, three, four, five rows and put the tassels on. It's missing a couple. I need to go find this color yarn upstairs, grab another skin of that but it's done i always forget to cut my tassels at the beginning of my yarn skein when it's nice and straight and lovely instead of waiting till the middle of the skein where it's all jacked up and it looks like the ghost of christmas past do you see what i'm saying the yarn is nice and straight on the outside of the skein and it's all crinkly in the middle so it's better to cut the fringe when you start as opposed to waiting until the end so i don't know i might have to steam these and make them all straight or maybe i'll iron them i don't know i would have just grabbed a new skein but i didn't have any more of this color so they're a little crinkly. I wanna finish a couple crop tops that I started. I have some fun colors I'm working with. I also have a really pretty pink one. So just gonna sew those together. I already made the granny squares. I just have to sew them together and put the fringe on. So I'm gonna go eat and finish this blanket real quick. And then on to some crop tops. So I'm just on the roof of my dad's RV. I just am enjoying some sunshine while I crochet. I'm making another one of these crop tops. If anyone's interested, I sell them for $130. I'm also finishing some in a new color. Thank you, Caitlin, for the color ideas. This is the Caitlin crop. I still have to add the fringe. Caitlin picked out these colors and she wanted blue, yellow, and like a dark pink. I also put on a pretty strap with all of those colors. So I'm really excited to finish this one. I think it's gonna be cute. So thanks Caitlin for your order. If you wanna order the Caitlin, let me know. I also made her a charcoal colored one back in the day, but she ordered one for her mom in these beautiful colors. So the point of this whole video is for me to finish all the crochet I've started and haven't completed. I'm also doing a photo shoot at the end so you can not only see the finished products, but I'm also gonna put them on my Shopify so you guys can just click and buy or you can purchase a custom top if you'd like. I need to just focus on this for the next 24 hours and get it done. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. I've also been wanting to make a crochet tutorial and I've started a channel called Crochet Nomadic. If you guys wanna follow that, I'll be putting tutorials over there as well as this video because I just wanna start a crochet channel. I love it so much, I think it'll be fun. So here we are doing a bunch of crochet today. So I actually didn't finish this top until the next day, but I wanted to show you a little bit of a reveal. So here's me staying up very late that next day to finish a Coachella festival worth a fringe. Okay, fine. I decided I'm staying up till 1000 o'clock this morning and I'm finishing fringe. I'm doing it. So what I do is take one of each color and then put them in rows so I can just pick it up and then put it on. It's getting there. 
Okay, I'm taking a break. I really want to make a purse, so I've been looking up tutorials online, and the only fabric I have that is purse worthy is the Lily Sugar and Cream because it's more on the stiff side. But what color purse do I want? Do we just go basic for our first purse? I think so. Yeah, let's just do like a basic oatmeal color. Hello, lovelies. Okay, I'm gonna crochet a purse. I just looked up a tutorial, found this one. Ideally, I'd get some more macrame textured yarn, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm getting the afternoon sleepies right now. So I'm going to go sit in my dad's recliner and watch Netflix and follow a tutorial. And I'll show you what it's looking like partway through. I need a six millimeter hook. Not sure if I have one. I'm missing a bunch of hooks. I'm getting my travel trailer ready to hit the road. So I'm doing an extreme clean video right now. It might be live by the time you see this video. Everything's been so disorganized. I can't wait to get everything in its spot. But hopefully there's a six millimeter hook in here. <gasps> I wonder if this bag would fit inside of a crochet shell. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll try it, we'll give it a go. Hallelujah! Got a little bit of a purse happening here. Doing some puff stitches, so that's new. Just kicking back. <laughs> yes, I did unbutton my pants. I'm full relaxation mode. I need something to do to procrastinate on doing all the fringe later. So much fringe, so little time. I messed it up. Messed it up real good. Got a little nubbin. So this is what we do when we mess it up. We have to pull it out and start over. So, so, so sad, but getting lots of practice today doing puff stitch. So we've got that going for us. Is it a purse yet? No. Okay. Oh, it's so, so sad. <laughs> it up somehow. I don't know. I'm so bad at following tutorials. I'm supposed to have 35 puffs and somehow I have 36. I think this one's a dud, you guys. I don't want to rip it all out and start over from scratch. Would I rather go put on all my fringe or start a new project? Start a new project. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm not starting a new project. I'm going to finish this one. This was the first time I followed a pattern ever in my entire life. There is a vintage crochet girl online. I'll link her right here. I absolutely loved her tutorial. She went through the whole thing step by step. If you wanna do it, go follow her tutorial. She followed, I think, a 70s pattern for this really cute poncho. She did it in green and white. I thought it would be really pretty in this black and taupey color, but she seems really sweet and adorable as well. It was really relaxing following her tutorial, so go give her a follow. You guys, this may be my favorite that I've ever made. I will make one for you, but I can't say I designed it. I don't feel like it's done yet because I want to trim the fringe just a little bit. It just hangs a little low for my liking. It hangs down past my knees, which I would prefer it to be right about here. It is cute, like super cute. Just gonna trim this up a bit and it will be done. Do we need to add a hood? I don't know. I might give this one to my dad's girlfriend. She's a sweetheart and she tried it on. It looked so, so cute on her. It was the perfect size, so maybe I won't trim it. Add a hood, no hood, I don't know. But maybe I'll just leave it. It looked really cute on her. Maybe I'll start a new one of these. It did take a while though. That might be a separate video. We'll see. Next order of business, I'm just gonna sew on the arm to this cute little hooded jacket. I made a cropped hoodie for the winter. I'm still working on this pattern a little bit, but I wanted to make a couple of these. I still have to put on the arm and figure out what I'm gonna do around the bottom. Do I put a button on it? What do I do? Just little things like these, like I haven't finished and this thing is so adorable. I'm gonna do this in a bunch of different colors. I have some really pretty greens and copper and golds for the upcoming seasons. This is the color of the top I just showed you. Then I have like a light lavender, a cherry color. Gotta love just a straight up cream color, a heather gray, a pretty green copper pumpkin and marigold. I'll link everything down in the description, but I love this respun yarn. They have a blue color and a lavender color I saw online and um, 
I need to make some stuff before I'm allowed to buy any new stuff, but I have enough yarn for a few jackets and any of these colors. So if you guys are interested in a blanket or a hoodie like this, just let me know. Shouldn't take that long. Just turn it inside out, sew these together, and then the jacket is finished. I think I might have an issue finishing things. I'm a great idea person and a starter, but why did I make this entire thing and leave the sleeve off? I don't know, I'll talk to my therapist about it. Do I have really bad RBF when I'm crocheting? I was editing one of my videos the other day and I feel like I have like Napoleon Dynamite face. RBF is a disease and I do not appreciate you making fun of me about it. Thank you so very much, internet, for your opinion. I can't help it, guys. RBF is genetic. Can we do RBF Awareness Month? It's a real thing, it is not a laughing matter, and I don't appreciate you making fun of me about it. Some of you guys have pointed out that you don't like when I go into voices. It's just... It's just how I am. On another note, I love doing the Moira voice, and if you have not seen Schitt's Creek, it is my favorite show of all time ever made. I love it so much, and that is the voice I often do. It's just something I like to do on my channel. I can't help it. There is a Southern Belle inside of me that just needs to come out every once in a while. I am sorry about it. Actually, when I lived in LA, I did voiceover for commercials. Smart and final, where you always get more for less. My dream job when I was younger was to be on Saturday Night Live and to like entertain people with comedy and humor and such. But it turns out I'm not that funny, so. I just became a professional crochet artist instead. <gasps> oh, it's so cute and cuddly. Do we need a waist on it? I think I do want to put some trim around the waist. See how it's rolling up in the back? Do I just do that real quick? I think I just do that real quick. I'm gonna get these projects done and by the time this video is live, they will be up on my website, so I'll leave a link down in the description for items that are available for sale, or I can custom make you something if you would like. So you know all the yarn I have upstairs? Oh, you mean this yarn right here? Yes, that yarn. Well, I have so much yarn, not just so I can make items for you guys and for these videos and for myself, but I'm also gonna hold some Stitch and Bitch sessions so you guys can sign up and we'll do a Zoom meeting and we'll stitch and bitch for a few hours. But I bought that much yarn so I can package it up for you guys, ship it out to you, and then we can make the same item together on a Zoom call, or you can follow along with one of my tutorials. So I not only sell finished items, but I will bundle stuff up for you if you want to make an item that I've made. I'll bundle it up for you, ship it out with a pattern, and there'll be a follow along video tutorial. Or you can go out and buy your own yarn, that's totally fine, but I thought it would just be easier if I package up the exact amount of yarn you need, or if there's a bunch of different colors involved and it's gonna cost way more money to buy fresh skein of each one of those colors, I'll package them up for you so you have just enough for the project. I'll package up the yarn, I'll cut the fringe to the correct length, and I'll ship it out to your cute little butt in the mail. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. This sweater is so cozy. It's kind of heavy, kind of like a weighted blanket. Someone once told me that they sleep with a weighted blanket because it relieves their anxiety at night. Maybe I need to figure out who that was and gift them one of these. Is this the new like anxiety cure? Stress sweater, got a job interview? You should probably wear your stress sweater to that. Go into a family reunion, grab your stress sweater. Go into the local farmer's market and you see your ex-boyfriend with his new girlfriend. You should probably wear your stress sweater to that. You just went to college, you have social anxiety and you're going to a party. You should probably just drink. It, it cures social anxiety, so. Or get yourself a stress sweater. I think I need to go see some human people. I've been crocheting all day, every day since my breakup and I need to get out a little bit. I'm gonna finish this and then tomorrow I'm taking photos and putting up a website. If you made it this far in the video, write stress sweater down in the comments. It does kind of relieve my stress actually. It's so cozy though, oh my gosh. I'm actually getting excited for cooler weather. I'm such a summer and sunshine person. It's still a good summer nights hoodie. Oh, I love this so much. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna make this in each color. I love this. Definitely helped putting the trim on it. It's not curling up in the back anymore. Check out this cute hood. So cozy. It actually doesn't take that long to make. It's really thick yarn 
barn, so. It feels like you're being spooned by Mother Teresa herself. It's like a sweet, passionate kiss from the Dalai Lama. I also like garments that give me the don't mess with me vibe. I'm in a coffee shop and I actually don't want to talk to you. I'm sitting next to you on an airplane, but don't ask me questions about my life. Thanks. It's so versatile, all of these items, so versatile. So I'm kind of winding down for the evening. I just ate dinner, just made myself a hot tea. And I'm feeling like it's like true crime o'clock. I feel like doing something absolutely mindless. So I'm gonna finish the scarf that I started making a couple weeks ago. I've been making a ton of scarves lately and I bought a bunch of different color palettes. These are the Mandala color palettes from Lion Brand Yarn, I think. And these are like the super size pack. I will link these down in the description, but I made one that's kind of like a charcoal gray color and a turquoise one. And now I'm making kind of a taupe one that's gonna fade into this tan color. And I'm making a pink one that fades into this white color. So I'm using this for two different tops and I have it somewhat Done. I have a tendency to start a project and then I get really excited about opening up a new color. The next 48 hours are just me finishing up a ton of projects. Hope you will join me. We'll chat about things and stuff. I'm kind of just wanting to sit in front of the TV and veg out and not think about anything, not do anything, and just kind of have some R&R &R zen time. All I want to do right now is crochet. So this is the perfect video for me right now. I've made about 25 of these, so they're pretty mindless at this point, but I'm really excited to see how these colors turn out. It's like a grayish taupe into a hay color. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I hope it's going to be pretty, but I love how these colors ombre. Let me show you which colors I'm talking about. By the way, I have just a little bit of yarn. Just a little bit. Taking my yarning career very seriously, you guys. I love it so much. So yes, this is the Mandala bonus bundle. The one I'm using downstairs, this one's called Meowth. Meowth. It's got pinks and whites and then the taupey colors. I started the pink one. Maybe I'll bring this downstairs as well. And then this is the bundle that makes that really pretty gray scarf I showed you earlier, as well as this turquoise one, which I absolutely love. So this one is called Spirit. It makes two different scarves in one bundle. This is the yarn that I made that jacket out of. So it's really thick. This is the Respun yarn by Lion Brand. They have an even prettier lavender color I saw in the store the other day, but I have to use all this up before I buy any more yarn. <laughs> Did I just find another project I want to finish? Anyway, here's my collection. Bought a bunch of the Pound of Love and Big Twist yarn when it was on sale. We got yarn for days. And I'll link all the yarn down in the description for every item that I made. And then you tell me which tutorials you would like. So let's see if we can finish two scarves by midnight before we turn into a pumpkin. I think this color is pretty on its own. I think it'll be nice. It's just like a nice soft fall vibe. Someone needs to explain why true crime is so fascinating. I don't understand why I want to watch it while I'm crocheting or I want to watch reruns from back in the day or my favorite movies. Like I've watched Bridesmaids a number of times while crocheting and Dumb and Dumber. Just like those old videos that I know every line to so I don't really have to look and pay attention. But I've gotten to the point with some of these projects I don't even have to watch what I'm doing. I can just kind of uh, zone out. But I've been noticing if I crochet for too long, my eyes start to tweak out. So occasionally I will set my alarm and then get up and walk around and like look in the distance. I'm just gonna keep working on this and watch some true crime and I'll see you when it's time for fringe. Yes, I loathe doing fringe. That's why I don't finish most of my projects. I like this part of it, but the fringe for some reason, I don't know why. I have a lot of fringe to do and I'm gonna get it done. So that's the point of this video. Got a little bit more of it done. It's been about an hour. <laughs> Crochet takes forever, you guys. I'm gonna go out on the front porch because my dad and his girlfriend are hanging out out there. Might as well be social and crochet at the same time, why not? Sunsets have been so pretty the last couple of nights, so I'm sorry I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Backward. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the fringe per usual, but 
the scarf is done. I'll show you the colors in the daylight. It's hard to see it, but it's really quite beautiful. Now on to the next. I feel like tomorrow is just gonna be like a full fringe day. So much fringe to put on everything. It's so nice. I can't wait to do the reveals, but I'm gonna get to work. We're gonna finish the pink one. It's gonna get white fringe, I think. So for my fringe, I just wrap it around my phone and that gets the perfect length fringe. I can't show you because I'm using my phone to film. I just wrap it around and around and around and around and then snip it and it's the perfect size. I'll show you, I'll show you. Bye. We're just wrapping and wrapping. And then I just pull it off and it looks like this. And then I just cut it like so, and it makes fringe. You can wrap it around anything, like a book. So these are my tassels. I put four on each little V I make on here. Do you guys want a tutorial for these? So I finished these off with little Vs, and then um, that's where the fringe is gonna go. So I'll at least cut the fringe tonight, not be lazy, but I just putting fringe on is the bane of my existence. watching the best show I've ever seen in my life. It's Grandma and Jinga, is that right? It's the two old ladies that are hilarious and slightly inappropriate, and I'm like, that is my goal in life, to be one of those ladies. I need to find my Ginga. Ginja, how do you say it? I don't know. Ginga, I need to find my Ginga in life. Screw boys, screw husbands, where is my Ginga? Do you guys know who I'm talking about? I've seen them on TikTok or, or Facebook or something, but there's a documentary on Peacock. Thoroughly enjoying it. I'm going to finish this. I've got one, two, three, four, six rows left. And then one more thing I wanna do before I go to bed is I want to turn this into a top. I tried a different style of granny square. It's a little more holy than the other ones. There's a church joke in there somewhere. I don't know what it is. If you know it, tell me, but I'm gonna make a crop top like my others with the fringe and just see how it looks with this type of granny square. I made it in this really pretty light pink. I'm excited about it. We'll try it. We'll give it a go. So it goes like so, and I'll put the fringe on tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a full on fringe day. Oh, hello. Um, you're welcome tomorrow, Dana. I did finish the fringe on those two shawls. And now I'm laying in bed and I found this wool ease yarn on my way up the stairs. I'm like, ooh, I wanna make a chunky beanie. I wonder if I can make a chunky beanie in the next hour. Cause I'm just gonna sit here and watch some Netflix and crochet with some nice chunky yarn. See if I can get something done. I just felt inspired. So I'm gonna do it. I'll show you how it went in the morning. Thank you so much for watching to the end. This is part one. Check back tomorrow for part two where I show you the reveals and quite a few more projects.